Welcome to lesson 4. In this lesson we are going to see how we can use some visualizations such as pie charts and bar charts and other types of charts and that Oracle Jet have some components where you can code more easily and faster. You can see all of the visualizations in the Hojet cookbook in the visualizations sections. We have the charts, diagrams, codes, a lot of visualizations you can choose. If you open the use cases, you can see a gallery with all of the options, all of the components you have, and you can choose from them. They are always based on observables to give the values and read other providers to give the, the data you want. It's very similar to what we did using the OJ input components and we are going to cover this in this lesson but before going into this we are going to review very briefly and not in depth the the routing so we can choose between pages inside the oracle jet app and how you can send some parameters from a page to another because we are going to use that inside this visualization so we can select a chart imagine a chart bar you want to select a bar and open a page based on that selection so we are going to analyze that here you can look to the core router inside the Oracle Jet cookbook with modules that is what we are uh, using right now you can see the code here let's change to JavaScript you have the HTML where you have the OJ tab bar in this case you can have another type like navigation list and then the OJ module binding that is an OJ component that allows you to bind a module so a JavaScript file and an HTML the view and the module the view and the view module using this configuration and then in demo.js you can see the declaration of the router and the states and so on we are going to analyze our index html and the app controller the index html as you know is the view the core view the main view we have the entry point for our app and the app controller js is the corresponding javascript file the view model for the index view here you can find the OJ navigation list that is where we are defining our app pages so here we have this dashboard incidents customers and about and it's being displayed if you inspect it you can see that is a OJ navigation list element that holds all these uh, options furthermore if you enter the mobile option the template is using the off canvas and you will automatically have this hamburger menu that you can press and you will have the um, navigation list with a different layout you can also navigate here to our uh, to your pages keep that in mind if you want to have always the hamburger or not and it is being changed here if you look for an app template you have the the script template here and you have the navigation list for when the app is in mobile mode by using these ojet bootstrap classes and it is used again here in the let's call it normal mode in computer mode when we have large and medium screens that will have the max width and the off canvas is disabled you can look into it a little bit more for now we only need to understand how we can declare change and use it inside each of the module so we can have more control of the app routing right now then in the uh, next lesson we can have a deep dive on this as you know in the app controller javascript file we are declaring the router of course this list is the list of data 
the list of modules, the list of pages for our application. If you change or add here a new page, you will see that in the options here on top. Of course, you need to have a matching view and view model with the path name that's required. Otherwise, it will have an error. Then we are declaring the router, calling the sync method, initializing the adapter that holds all the uh, router information. This selection is used on the navigation list, so the navigation component is writing and reading from the JS, is a read and write variable here in the HTML. As soon as we change the navigation list that is selected, the option selected, we are changing the route here, so the path here that is mapped to this name is changed. The nav data provider is the, the data provider that we are using inside the OJ navigation list here that will have all except the first one. By default, we have this empty path that redirects to dashboard and we are only giving all of the others. So the option to the dashboard until the about page and not the first one. Here is when we are toggling the off compass to have the hamburger menu or not. If it is greater than the medium screen, it will close the canvas using the off canvas utils. So this is the default drawer prompt object. You can see more about that in the OJet cookbook as well. This is the toggle drawer function that is called, let me show you here it's the on click when we are in the hamburger menu when you click you also press the um, toggle drawer so you can um, hide again the um, the menu so let me show you when we click here it will open and as soon as we press one of the options it will hide again you can do that using the toggle drawer and then this is the names we can just change here to learn programming with joel at oracle app name is my first ojet app and you will see that here my first ojet app and learn programming with joel of course we are mocking the login later we can have a, a video on that and this is the footer links and so on. It is quite important to understand that we can access this router inside of each of our modules, the JavaScript files. We are declaring our modules here using this function. And if you put here a params, you can call it as you wish. If you declare here the, um, the parameter and if you log it, here so param we will see this is from the second console log here we are still getting the data but the first one in line 13 here you can see that we have a params object that is empty so you can give or pass parameters to another module using the params object and you have the parent router and the router itself and also the router state. And if you go to the OJET cookbook and open the core router API doc, the core router API doc by pressing here on top, you can see that you have some different methods uh, inside and you have this go. The go allows you to navigate to another page. And that's what we are going to test right now using this router go path and let's get to the code again so inside the dashboard const router equals to our param so we are getting the router inside this uh, property from the object it is the object destructuring and here we want to use router go and as we are already on dashboards let's open the about page and give the param uh, some data and inside an array of some values 
you can keep the the, the console log of course it will not get that but to, to see it in action let's use a set timeout with three seconds and call it there let's open the app wait three seconds and we have an error params object may only contain color values so we cannot send in the uh, params here we need to and give it let's try an id and the id will be my unique id let's save it wait three seconds and we are in the about page right now let me open the about page in the right side and here we are also getting the params let me just here we want the params from let me select that we are destructuring again the object we have the param we want the params property from the params object and we want to console log it um let's let's put it here as received params that is easier to understand so we open the dashboard, we wait three seconds, we go to about and we have the object with ID, my unique ID that we are sending here from the dashboard. So you can route by accessing the router inside the params or the receive params or even the potatoes uh, parameter, you choose the name. Um, so you can send parameters and access to router information inside the module and you can use some of the methods available inside the router like you can also go to um, nested path so you need to get to employees that receives an id and then to contacts and so on and you can reconfigure sync uh, the router well, you have a lot of options you can do and this is the basic and now we can go and start using the data visualizations now that we already know how to route and how to navigate to another page and send some data to it.